JHS Overdrive Preamp is a faithful recreation of an extremely rare, practically unknown first version of the DoD 250 Overdrive Preamp. If you love the 250 and you're familiar with the legendary gray box and yellow box versions, then this is a must-have addition to your collection. The JHS Overdrive Preamp is a powerful tone shaping tool that can be used as a solo boost, always on preamp, transparent overdrive, or distortion. No matter the musical genre or which amps or pedals you have in your chain, the Overdrive preamp is the pedal for you. Hey everybody, it's Jay Gabs here from Audio Epidemic and have I got a treat for you today. Uh, it's kind of a really cool thing. Uh, I've got sort of a first look, uh, early access to one of JHS's new pedals and it is a beauty. This is the Overdrive preamp, which is sort of a, uh, a faithful replication of this unobtainable V1 amp that you guys may recall, the original gray box amp, the 250 that DoD made back in the 70s. Our boys at JHS did it again. They made this beauty, and it's just, uh, it's one of those overdrives, you know, a lot of you overdrive fans out there who know, you know, there's your tube screamers and your clons and those things that are either a must have or a hugely desirable overdrive pedal. And that DoD 250, at least, you know, the original one, the hard to find or maybe even impossible to find, that is something that a lot of the sort of overdrive fanatics or overdrive snobs really, really like to have, uh, me being one of them. Our friends at JHS and our friends at Wolf Music uh, were able to get us early access to this beautiful pedal and I can't wait to try it out. I don't know a lot about it. I mean, I guess, I, you know, I, I, I know some things. If, if, if you know about the DoD 250, you really know what this, this can be used for. A lot of people typically use it more of, uh, use it as more of a, a, an enhancement to the drive they're already using. You know, you can, you can use this pedal for a number of things, depending on how you set these guys up. It could be a solo boost. It could be straight up distortion from a clean channel, depending on the distortion you like. You know, it's it's a very transparent overdrive uh, and always on preamp, you know, the whole thing. So it, it does quite a bit. So yeah, we're just gonna cut right down to it, guys. Uh, I wanna test this thing out. I wanna see what you guys think about, uh, about the pedal. So please leave me some comments and remember, check us out on all the other fun parts of social media out there, Facebook, Instagram, blah, 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 blah. Um, but without further ado, I want to try this pedal out. So what we're going to do, we're going to, um, we're just going to kind of, you know, mess around with the different settings. There's not much to it. As you can see, there's just, there's just two knobs, uh, level and gain. And what more do you need? Right? I'm going to start with this guitar here. It's just a humbucker. I put some bare knuckles in here. So it's a very growly bitey, bitey sort of humbucker sound, very metal forward sounding, um, on the humbuckers here. And so we're going to start there. And what I want to do for me, because this guitar is pretty bright and hot with those pickups, what I'm thinking is I want to give give it more of a full voice. I want it to sound more Gibson, less polish, let's say, and and less metally and and, and bitey. So what I will attempt to do here with this uh, overdrive preamp is start kind of messing with the levels and the gains to a point where it'll function as a boost, but it'll also fill up more space. Um, and that's what I'm going to do with the humbuckers and. From there, uh, I'm gonna try it out with a single coil guitar here as well. I've got my, uh, my faithful telly that uh, we're gonna break out so we can hear what this overdrive can do on a humbucker and single coil, and we're gonna get right down to it. So, as you can see here, I've got the settings. Right now, the pedal's off. Uh, I'll explain what this little switch in the middle does in a little bit, um, but right now I've got everything set to zero. And while I've got, I'll let you listen to my guitar, I'm running it out of this Marshall JCM 2000 and I've already got it kind of with a little bit of overdrive that's just coming right out of the amp and, and you're hearing all the room noise right now. So it's a pretty bright, uh, you know, tone and the breakup's pretty nice there, but I want it to, I want it, I want to fill it out a little more. So that's just out of the amp and you're hearing the room. So once I get to the overdrive, so right now while I've got the levels down, you're not gonna hear any guitar. So we'll bring the levels up first, obviously. We're gonna start hearing. So right now it basically, as a preamp, it just acts as my volume, just like my amp would. And while I've got that level control, now you're really still kind of hearing pretty much the amp. You're not getting any of the overdrive and the gain that comes from the pedal. Um, so just, you know, for those of you 
who need that sort of explanation, there it, it's 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 now a preamp and it's always on, so to speak, and I can just control my levels through here now. So what we'll do is start bringing in some of that gain. So here's what we're working with. All right, so we'll bring it up a little. I'm gonna go to right about here at 12 o'clock. That's usually a safe place to kick things into gear. It's subtle, but it's already happening, and it, and it really does sort of feel like it's um, it's starting to do that, that Les Paul flavor that I was looking for. It's not exact, but we're definitely getting closer, which is what I wanted. So here's what I've got going now. Here, here is the tone again without. So you can see it, obviously the levels are a little different um, simply because I was controlling the level out of the pedal. And also it became a little bit brighter again. It, it, fills, it fills up less space now that the uh, overdrive is off. So let's kick that back in. I mean, that sounds incredible. Uh, oh. So it did what I wanted, which is the idea. I mean, this is clearly a, a just a classic, classic overdrive. And that was everything at, well, not everything, but my gain was at 10. So let's bump up what you're really meant to do in a lot of cases, or let's say not what you're meant to do, but classically what people will do is they'll actually just crank that level knob all the way up to 10. So you're getting sort of maximum potential out of that. And then really all you got to focus on is dialing in that gain. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got the, uh, the gain all the way at 10. I'm gonna bring, I mean, I've got the level all the way at 10. I'm gonna bring the gain back up a bit and we're gonna hear a pretty significant boost now. So here I am just coming out of the amp again. And now we got the pedal. Amazing. So I'm going to start bringing it up. Let's go to eight. Sounds so cool. So you can hear that bite. It's really, uh, it's, it's, it's great. It's got, you know, it just kind of breaks things up even more. It gives it that really crisp tone. And you can see here, I've got it set now with, the, again, at the, uh, the levels are at 10 and that was just at eight. Obviously, I think going all the way to 10, especially with these humbuckers and this amp and my particular setup, pushing the gain to 10 might be a little much, um, but you could probably get away with it in the right situation. Uh, so yeah, I think, you know, so far so good. It is, it is a really neat thing what they're doing here, the guys at JHS. And they do this a lot, you know, these sort of re, re, recreations of a classic. Now, what they've done here with this pedal is, you know, they've essentially tried to capture that classic 70s version of the, the, the original, I think the V1 of that DoD 250. But there was a second version that w some would argue was equally as popular and, and sought after. Um, and it had a slightly, we're going to check it out in a second, but it, it has a slightly lesser bite to it. It's the attack seems a little maybe reserved and it's just a different sound. And, and depending on how you apply it and which guitar and amp setup you're using, it actually can be really interesting. So while we're on that topic, that is what that switch right here does. So when you bring it down here, we're essentially right now with the switch up, we're at V1. And then when you switch down, it's a subtle change, but what he's done is when they went and, and did the second version of the pedal, which essentially was meant to be the same pedal with just some, some slight adjustments, maybe enhancements, that's what they've done essentially with this pedal now. They've taken it, so when you switch back down now, 
you're now using the second variation of the DoD 250 that they made back in the day. And, uh, and that's where we're at. So let's give this one a go and I'll compare both uh, the switch up and the switch down for your reference. So check this out. We're at switch up right now. I love the way this sounds, by the way. That switch up. Now we're gonna pop that switch down right here. I'm gonna keep the settings the same just so we can hear the actual comparison from one setting to the other. So now. Actually, you know, despite the fact that it, it doesn't kind of smack you in the face as hard as the first setting, I think I prefer the tone on this one. Um, this one actually feels a little closer to that Les Paul vibe I'm going for. Um, yeah, man. Let's see. Flip the switch back up. It's tough. It's really subtle, but you can kind of you can, you can almost feel it more than you can hear it in this instant. When I'm in the room and I flip that switch, it doesn't kind of knock you out uh, as much as being uh, the first setting does. I almost prefer it in some cases. I would definitely say that if I was going to record with this pedal, I would very likely use the uh, the setting for the second version, which with, with the switch down over the second, uh, over the, the version with the switch up. The switch up is really cool um, and it's got a lot more bite and attack to it from what I can tell. Uh, I might probably use that for more of a live setting or even if I'm gonna use the pedal as a boost, for example, then I think I'd go that route by using the version one switch up and then maybe for other things I would use the switch down. I, I really like the tones on both of them a lot, so that's a tough one, but yeah, so. That's what we're working with right now. Again, that was with my humbuckers. And now we're gonna switch over to my Telecaster and see what this thing can do on some single coil pickups. So let's do this. There it is. We're getting that classic uh, 60 cycle hum out of, these, out of these beauties. So here is what the guitar sounds like without the pedal on right now. The pedal is not active. I'm gonna go back to zero with these guys and I'm just gonna let you hear the guitar as it is. All right, you get the idea. So obviously not as humbucky, very single coily, very telly sounding. So we're gonna kick the pedal in now. Remember, we're starting at with both settings at zero. I've got the switch up to the V1 version. Um, right now, you hear the hum go away because we're at zero, so I'll start cranking up the volume a little. That hum starts to come back. Uh, obviously, you probably wanna use a noise gate or something with, uh, with this thing, but it's up to you. So right now I've got the uh, I've got this level at 12 o'clock. Uh, that's about right between the five and the six. There we're hearing essentially the same sound that's coming out of the amp. And as a preamp, it is just controlling my volume. Now we're going to bring the the uh, the gain in and see how we do here. So here we are one more time. That's what it sounds like before gain. Now let's bump up that gain to about right there at 12 o'clock as well. So yeah, you can, I mean, this is again, one of those things where you can almost feel it before you hear it. I mean, you can definitely hear it, but but it feels different, the attack, the way it kind of fills up this empty space, especially in this room. Um, I really like this. So listen one more time. Here it is without the pedal activated.
So it's just, you know, barely overdriven. Um, now, just kind of muddies it up a little bit uh, in, the, in the best possible way. Yeah, I'm feeling that. So now, what I'll do is, let's crank it up to eight now. Oh yeah, oh my goodness. That's what I was going for. Oh, it's so big sounding. My God, this is cool. Let's try that neck pickup. Oh my goodness, I love this. All right, let's just compare real quick. This is my neck pickup, no overdrive. Again, just barely overdriven, very neck tone, um, nice and clean and pretty. All right, now let's kick it back in. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah, so I am feeling this point. You know, as much as I love what it did for my other guitar with the humbucking pickups, I kind of prefer what it's doing here with these single coils, especially on Telecaster. I'd be really interested to try this out on a Strat, but I mean, I think we're getting the, the idea here that uh, what this overdrive does is really just kind of enhance everything in some really cool ways. So I'm gonna try cranking it up a bit now. Uh, we're gonna get the volume up. I wonder if I should just turn it all the way. Yeah, whatever. Let's see what this sounds like. It's gonna be ugly, but it'll be fun. So what I feel is happening now is it almost, I mean, it clearly turns into like a real distortion, right? Now we're, now we're, we're kind of moving past overdrive and we're getting that real distorted growl. And it almost from here kind of feels like these single coils almost felt more like humbuckers. It just, it just kind of opened things up a bit. Again, they still had that flavor and that tone that a single coil really delivers. And obviously the hum that kind of comes with the territory. But um, man, that, that felt huge. Uh, and, and I really like that, it's interesting. You know what I really like probably more than anything is the simplicity of this thing. So you know, there's tons of overdrive pedals out there and JHS I think makes probably the majority of the better modern overdrives that are out today. But the thing here is I love this, just got these two knobs, you know, and it does what it does. It's proper preamp, it's a proper overdrive. Uh, you know, it kind of, that gain right here, it really just controls, you know, or maybe, maybe I guess it, it adjusts the clipping, you know, the temperament of that overdrive in such a way that um, I haven't, let's put it this way, from zero to 10, any overdrive that I kind of can bring in there, I like. Uh, I'll obviously use different levels for different occasions, but there wasn't an overdrive that I didn't like and that I could probably find a home for in some kind of music that I'm playing. I love the way it sounded, you know, sort of on the lower side, two, three. Um, I really loved it when I cranked it up to 10, despite, you know, kind of kicking in some of that feedback. So yeah, I mean, I'm really feeling this. So what I want to try now, we're going to switch the, uh, we're going to flip that switch down. So we're going to kind of go to the, the version two variety of the DOD 250. And let's see how much of a difference it makes here. I wonder if it matters or makes a bigger difference with these single coils. So here, let's crank that. Now we've got the uh, overdrive. The gain is back down to zero. I've got, I'm gonna keep my level at 10. Um, it's just, you know, it's just acting as a volume knob now. So 
I'll switch here. So now we're at the version two variety. So this is what the guitar sounds like before we're activated. Now we'll kick it in. So I, I could barely feel it, but when you flip from the V1 to the V2 part of the switch, what you're really kind of, again, it's, it's almost like you can feel it more than you can hear it, but I have a feeling it'll make a bigger difference once we start bringing in some of that gain. So let's start at right around here at 12 o'clock again. And we're there, let's crank it up. Pretty cool. Let's see. Let's go to eight. I mean, I love the way this thing sounds. So here it is. Here it is on the V2 version. Let's switch it over to the V1 just to get some reference. Okay, so what I'm noticing the most here, is, again, there are subtle differences. Uh, the clipping, I guess, or the breakup, really seems to be more apparent when we're in the V1 uh, version of this. Again, when you switch back to that V2 version, you flip the switch down, it just seems to be a little less of, almost more controlled, uh, if that's the right way to describe it. And I like that, again, for me, that would be my preference for recording. You know, if I'm in an environment, sort of in a studio setting, I might stay with that V2 version of it because it's still kind of, it, it still maintains that feeling and that tone that I really like, just with a little bit less punch, which is okay. I might want to go for that punch more in a live setting when I'm on stage, just because I think it has more impact. But the, the tone is there and the flavor is there. And I really, really like that. So yeah, I'd love to know what you guys think. I really want to thank the guys at JHS and of course Wolf Music Company, the best sponsors I could ask for. At Wolf Music, they always, always do good for us here at Audio Epidemic. They always take care of us. They get us fun early access to these types of things uh, like the JHS pedals and, and guitars to come. Uh, we got lots of contests and giveaways. Look, I really hope you guys like what we're doing here. Let me know what you think of the pedal. It does drop today. So this is kind of a big deal. If you like it, Hop over to wolfmusiccompany.com or check out JHS's website and see what you think. And please get back to me. Leave me some comments. Hit me with the like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you want to hear and see more of what we've got coming here at Audio Epidemic. I appreciate it, guys. I love you. I mean it. And we are out of here. Thank you.